they are so afraid to talk about it so far apart. When it comes to this issue, Republican Senator and potential 2024 hopeful Tim Scott of South Carolina said Friday that as president, he would support and sign the, quote, most conservative pro-life legislation that could pass. Here's what he told NBC's Ali Vitale on Friday. Every time a state, of course, adopts a decision, states have the ability to have the most conservative uh, bills that they can get passed in their legislature. I support the culture of life, without question. But is six weeks the right mile marker? Well, the people have decided that their elected leaders have the opportunity to do so. So I, I say absolutely, as the, as the culture of life is being protected, we should celebrate that. States will have different varying views on that. But yes, if I were president of the United States, I would literally sign the most conservative pro-life legislation that they can get through Congress. Even if it was six weeks? I'm not going to talk about six or five or seven or ten. I mean, in Florida already has six weeks, uh, Jonathan Lemire, and this is threatening the lives of women and torturing women. There are women in Florida who are being forced to carry to full term babies that will not live. Governor Sanders signed that legislation uh, in the dead of night just l last week. Um, and Tim, Senator Scott, widely expected to run for president, uh, has said the signal that he would do the same on a national level. And, and at least uh, we, we've talked a lot about how 2022 was abortion front and center. Uh, because of the Supreme Court decision uh, and a lot of Americans deciding that what the Republicans were saying was simply out of step. This isn't what they wanted. Uh, remember, Senator Graham talked about a national abortion ban and Democrats saw how how unpopular that was with even some Republican voters. And it seems like 2024 abortion is going to be a defining issue again. Well, it's even poised now. Look at what's going to happen with the Supreme Court and mm -hmm. the abortion pill. Myth. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. That is going to be seismic because most Americans, and when it comes to women's health, they are way more supportive of a pill that terminates pregnancy before 10 weeks than other measures and you know you talk about extremism but the pill is used for a lot of things yes, pertaining yes. to women's right. health at six and weeks menopause. you barely you're you're barely you usually don't know that you're right. pregnant it's you know like a you're you sneezed and you're pregnant suddenly i mean it's just no women don't know and the fact i can't believe that the gop has just become so infiltrated by big government well, I, control radicals at this point that they want to tell tell you what medical procedure you can have to preserve your life. Yeah. Right. And, and the, the party that wants government to stay out of it is suddenly having government intervene. And, and we should note on that pill, Justice Alito giving a state just to Wednesday, the fate of it very much unclear in this, later this week. Well, I mean, and that we got to talk more about, we have to talk more explicitly about what these drugs do and what abortion is used for, because clearly the Republican Party and a lot of men in it don't understand a woman's body, <laughs> as former Vice President Kamala Harris says. And they, they literally don't. I'm not joking. This is serious in terms of how stupid can you be? Because your wives, your sisters, your aunts, your daughters may need health care, and you're going to deny it because of something you don't know anything about. You just want to go ahead, Rob. And, and they don't care about it. I mean, there is some real deep misogyny here where they just discount women and you do what I'm told. You know, I, I raised the question a few days ago at our conference, would we have the same vote from these men if we were talking about outlawing oh, the blue pill? Exactly. I mean, uh, you know, anything. women can't yeah. get pregnant by themselves. Right. So if you want to outlaw pills, why don't we outlaw both sides of mm -hmm. this sex equation? And I think you'd get a different answer. The fact they don't even care about what it does to women health issues wise and not even in terms of pregnancy shows that it's all you stay in the kitchen and you do what i say so interesting how this